welcome back to my channel and in today's video pag-uusapan natin ulit si Revive Credit because I well actually uh, masasabi ko ngayon I like Revive Credit and if you stick around then you will understand why so marami sa inyo yung nagtanong kung paano siya gamitin kailan siya babayaran pwede bang installment yung mga ganun so I'm going to give my own experience as an example so if you want to better understand what Revive Credit is about because hint, hindi po siya katulad sa mga OLAs na dati na natin pinag-usapan dito, then please stick around. What's up guys? My name is Ren and I do reviews of online loan platforms, yung mga buy now, pay later platforms, yung mga Ola, yung mga ganun. So, this video naman pag-usapan natin si Levi Credit. So, let me just give you a little story. So, alam niyo guys, dati ako may credit card and that was like 10 years ago. But because I was young and not so financially responsible, I lost the privilege to that that credit card and ever since hindi na ako nagkaroon ng credit card pa ulit and hindi na ako nag-bother na mag-apply or kumuha ulit ng credit card kasi I just have a feeling because of that credit history na marireject lang ako. So, I was so thankful na na-approve ako sa Revive Credit because it's the closest thing to having a credit card. I actually already have made two videos about Revive Credit and Revive Credit is actually a service provided by CIMB Bank. So if you want to know how to activate, um, you can go to the description box below kasi ano yung link. And if you want to know kung paano mag-cash out, oy, I'm sure you'll love that. Uh, mag-cash out sa Revive Credit yung credit limit, then um, you can also check the link in the description box below. So in today's video, yung focus natin is understanding your billing cycle, which is important kasi may mga nagtatanong sa inyo kung when siya babayaran. So I was approved for 30,000 pesos, 2.5 2 interest um, on November 22. Kung na-approve ka on that date, it means that 22 rin yung magiging billing date mo or statement date every month or moving forward. And then, your due date is 15 days after your billing date or your statement date. So, in my case, kasi yung billing date ko is 22 of the month, add 15 calendar days to that, yung magiging due date ko is the 6th of every month. Yung billing cycle ko is from the 22, kung saan ako in-approve, to the 21st or 30 calendar days. Yan. So, to the 21st of the next month. Kasi pagkatapos ng 21st, which is the 22nd, lalabas na yung statement ko or yung bill ko. Yung lumabas yung statement ko on December 22, nagulat ako guys. Because 22,000 pesos yung aking outstanding. Yung kailangang bayaran. Yung 22,000 ba? Yun yung babayaran ko? Well, actually, no. So, before we continue, on your billing date, magti-text tsaka mag-email si Revive Credit to let you know na your statement is already ready. So, you can download your statement dun sa email or you can also go to the app to see your statement or your e-statement kung ayaw mo ng mga paper bills or, or that. So, punta ka dun sa app, i-click mo yung tatlong buttons dun sa dashboard and it will take you to um, the summary of whatever you owe or um, whatever your outstanding balances and then nasa taas yung e-statement. So just click that and go to the latest bill. It will display the same bill na pinadala sa'yo sa email and dun mo makikita kung how much you need to pay before the due date. So wag kang mag guys na kailangan mong bayaran yung whole outstanding balance na yun na 22,000 sa due date mo which is gonna happen next month. Kasi dito sa kay Revive Credit as a revolving credit line, meron po siyang tinatawag na minimum um, amount due. So, it is good practice to pay more than your minimum amount due. Siyempre, to keep your credit levels healthy and patuloy yung paggamit. So, um, I don't know, I'm not sure, I've read somewhere na idoblihin mo yung dapat mong bayaran. So, using my statement as an example where I owe is 22,182. So, you don't have to really worry about that kasi yung dapat mo lang bayaran is the minimum amount which is 15% of that. So, according to, um, according to this statement, my statement which is example natin for today, I only need to pay 3,327.45 on January um, 6. Now, if I only pay that amount, yung natitirang 18,000 something something, that's going to earn or accrue another 2.5 interest on the next cutoff, which is January 22, together with whatever na panibagong nagamit ko. So, um, it is good practice na dapat doblehin mo yung minimum amount na hinihingi niya o di kaya bayaran yung whole amount to keep your credit levels 
healthy and tuloy-tuloy yung paggamit. But if you can't make the whole 22,000, then just pay the minimum amount and a little extra. But remember guys, whatever you pay, babalik yun dun sa available na credit mo. So whatever is available, pwede mo yung gamitin. So the more you pay, the more you use, and the cycle just continues. So ganun siya. So, you have to really manage this very well. Otherwise, um, kapag na-cancel siya kasi hindi ka nakabayad on time, not only may babayaran ka na whatever is outstanding here, meron ka pang penalties, tatawagan ka. So, ano bang mga uses ni Revi Credit? So, at the moment, guys, meron siyang six features na makikita din dun sa dashboard. Yung pay bills, yung transfer, yung cash out, yung term loan, virtual card, and buy loan. So for now, yung buy loan, virtual card, cash out, and term loan, hindi po po sila available. Which means yung pay bills lang, tsaka yung transfer, yung pwedeng gamitin as of right now. So pay bills, kasi bago pa siya, o konti pa lang yung billers na available na tumatanggap ng Revi Credit. But, um, yung maganda dito kasi, tumatanggap na si home credit ng Revi Credit. So redundant. And then, uh, pwede mo rin gamitin, uh, bayaran yung, yung smart tsaka globe bills mo using Revi. Or, you can also get cash from your Revi credit balance or credit limit. So, using the transfer feature nitong si Revi. So, transfer, if you want to see how to transfer money that you're allowed to transfer, then I have another video. Just go to the description box for the link. So, in a way, yung transfer na to is just like saying, magka-cash out ako. But you're only allowed to cash out or to transfer 70% of your credit limit. Meron po dito sa baba figures to show how your credit balance is distributed. So, whatever is available for transfer and whatever is available for bills payment only, um, yun, lalabas dito sa baba. Magtitira siya ng 30% ng credit limit mo dun sa app para pang bills payment. So, hindi po pwedeng kunin lahat as cash bill. So, Pag-usapan natin kung paano siya bayaran. So, actually, there are many ways or I think there are a couple um, convenient ways to pay for your Revi credit balance. So, you can pay anytime. Kasi, just remember, yung amount na pinipay mo, babalik siya dun sa credit limit mo, which pwede mo rin gamitin. So, paikot-ikot siya kasi nasabi siyang revolving credit. So, you can pay at any time. Just go to your dashboard, click the pay now button, and the pay now button will display two banks. Um, two options, online, tsaka yung over-the-counter payment option. So, under online, meron siya yung through CIMB Bank PH. And CIMB Bank, uh, you can access this through GCash, um, through the G-Save feature ni GCash, kasi link siya. Sa akin, yung pinakamadali dito is CIMB Bank PH. Kasi hindi ko kailangan i-open yung CIMB Bank na app para lang magbayad. Pwede akong pumunta dito na mismo sa app kasi yung na-link sila. Or pwede ka rin gumamit ng other banks. So, with other banks, it will be done through Dragon Pay. So, hanapin lang if member ni Dragon Pay yung mga banko na gusto mong gamitin. So, over-the-counter, merong 7-Eleven, um, over-the-counter banks, and other payment centers. So, yung pinakamadali dito is yung through CIMB Bank PH. Um, meron na siyang kaagad na payment payment form na lalabas kung saan ilalagay mo na lang yung amount na gusto mong ibayad dun sa Revi credit mo. So, all you have to do is just put in the amount na gusto mong ibayad and just click continue. And then, meron siyang OTP na ipapadala sa cellphone mo. And after you put the right OTP, payments done, mag update ka agad yung amount sa dashboard. So, it's very easy to use. You just have to pay attention to your billing cycles, your due date, the minimum amount due, which is 15% of the total amount that's reflecting on your statement. So, I really hope, guys, that this video is helpful and now, um, mas maliwanag yung paggamit ng Revi Credit para sa inyo. Kasi, guys, hindi siya tulad ni OLA. Number one, ang liit lang ng interest niya. And number two, whatever you pay, nagagamit mo. And for as long as you're paying, you're keeping the, your Revi Credit account active, you can just continue using it. Tuloy-tuloy ang tuloy-tuloy ang ligaya. So guys, I hope to see you on my next video. And remember, pag 30,000 subscribers na tayo, mamibigay ako, magbibigay ako ng cellphone sa aking one lucky subscriber. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!